With that acknowledgement, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. I know we're not supposed to go out during the night time, but... I can't just not go. <sighs> Alright. Okay, Kyoko, what do you gotta say? Sorry for asking you to meet with me so late. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. So then. Well then, let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of me of the surveillance cameras, right? So does mean, does this mean you have something to do with whatever it is you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma told us earlier that someone had stolen something from him. Was it you? Indeed. That's right. So I was right. But what did you steal? Oh. I stole this. A key? But looking at it, I could tell it wasn't just any key. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was probably the only key of its kind on Earth. Where'd you get this? So... From the Headmaster's room. What? You snuck into the Headmaster's room? But wasn't it locked? The lock was broken. What? It was Sakura. She did it for us. She did? Remember when she said... In her note, I'm not going to lay down and die. I will fight you. So, Sakura broke into the headmaster's room for us? That's right. That's right. So that we can could uncover whatever secrets may lie hidden within. She did that for us? She violated the school regulations to help us. She already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled into the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So you asked me to meet you in the data center in order to... Correct. I want you to draw Monokuma's attention. I took that opportunity and sneak into the headmaster's room, and as a result, I found this key. Wow. Then, what you told me about yesterday, did that come from the headmaster's room too? Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. Did you find out about this Mokuro Ikusaba while you were in there? I did find a file in the headmaster's room that talked about her, yes. I don't know all the details yet, but... One thing I do know is that Mokuro Ikusaba is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous? In other words... She may as well be the mastermind. <laughs> mastermind? But didn't Alter Ego say that the headmaster was probably the mastermind? Wrong. No. The headmaster isn't the mastermind. I'm sure of that. What? I don't have proof yet. But I have no doubt I'm right. To make such a strong statement without proof. That's not like Kyoko at all. But if it isn't the headmaster, does that mean Mukuro Ikusaba could really could be the mastermind? Anyway... Anyway, this key is the one big opportunity we've been waiting to get our hands on. Now, now that we've grasped it, we can't let it go, can we? Sure, but I mean, what's this key even unlock? So... I don't know yet, which is why. I need you to draw Monokuma's attention again while I go and find out. Wait, so you're planning on sneaking back in again? You can't, that's way too dangerous. And you want me to draw his attention? But... We don't actually know that's just one mastermind, right? If there's more than just one person watching us. But they didn't catch on to last night, right? Maybe we just got lucky. Or maybe the mastermind can't monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Huh? Like I said, we didn't get caught last night. But as you said, maybe it was pure luck. Which is why we're gonna have to run the experiment one more time. And if we're successful again... Then, what may have just been a lucky guess will be proven true. As Kyoko talked, she was calm and collected as ever. I couldn't help but just stand there and listen. If it's true that the Mastermind can watch us and control Monokuma at the same time, then there would have been a period of time where the Mastermind is vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true, and if we can't exploit it. Maybe, but no matter what the reward, the risk is way too high. Just when I think it might happen if we fail. Why is that? I don't think you need to worry all that much. After all. With minimal restrictions, 
you are free to explore Hope's Peak Extraction Academy at your discretion. No restrictions have been placed on our efforts to solve the mystery. Am I wrong? Ooh, excuse me! Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I can tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all the rules of the rules in the world won't matter. Oops, fuck, wrong button. He could just kill us without a second thought. I see. I see. In that case, even if the plan fails, we'll still be able to prove or disprove that hypothesis. What? In the moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rule? Or adhere to them, no matter what? In other words... In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now that there's no reason to do it not, right? But but If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if the risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? At the moment, I realize I had never seen the slight hint of fear or despair in Kyoko's eyes. Her gaze was firmly fixed on this mystery ahead, the enemy standing before us. And with that in view, she just smiled. I can't change how I feel, and wouldn't if I could. Then Kyoko took something from her coat pocket and held it out to me. Huh? What's this? It's true. It's considered a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. However... I'm not planning on dying, but there's always a chance of it, and a death could mean is without meaning is unappealing. Please, I want you to hold on to it for me. Fine, I'll hold on to it, just because you asked me to. I'm not giving it back at but I'm gonna give it back at some point. You can be sure of that. Yes, of course. Oh, and one more thing. You can't tell anyone else what I've discovered. Sure, because then there's a chance the mastermind might find out, right? Indeed. Well, there's that too. Huh? You mean there's something else? Well. It's nothing. Forgot I said anything. I can't just forget that easily. Okay then, shall we begin? Makoto. I'm counting on you, Makoto. I just had to give get Monokuma's attention, right? Well, I'll give it my best shot. Goodbye. I'm going ahead. The rest is up to you. Her curt goodbye was no different from any other time. And like every other time, she moved at a brisk pace and she left. What wasn't like every other time was the sudden knot I feel in my stomach as I watch her walk away. No. Everything's gonna be fine. I know it. Because it's Kyoko. I'm talking to myself without shaking off my anxiety. And then, I got to work. Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here, I've got a bone to pick with you! And a few moments later... Oh, fuck, sorry. I need to do something real quickly, be right back. Sorry about that, uh, slight... Uh, disruption. Not really disruption, it's more like I got fucking lots of mosquito bites. It's really hot, so of course, times like these will happen. And a few moments later. Monokuma well, well, this is a surprise. You're being the one to call me out. Hey, hey. hey by the way. Uh, huh? Most suspicious. What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse, just the two of you in the middle of the night. Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm. I bet you guys. Remove the confirm with local and international censorship laws. All over her, didn't you? Not gonna talk, huh? Sure, I get it. Well, whatever, unlike you, I have absolutely no interest in late night bath scenes. Because I like to maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X rated exploits. Oh. So is that why you're, there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or is it maybe because the lens gets foggy all uh, uh, gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyways? Sounds like that's the bullseye to me. You need something? Anyway, you went to all that trouble to get me out of here. Now what do you want? Oh well, um, there's just something I want to confirm with you. Hey, what? Whether I'm a mademoiselle or a dude fella, Actually. but in the Bear Kingdom, there is no male or female. Um, actually there is. Seriously? Then what am I? My entire existence! That's enough. 
I'll get stuck to if I think about it too much, so what did you really want to ask me? Oh, well you told us earlier about your precious had been stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is a silly question, no way it's possible and all, but... Is it seriously what you dragged me out of here to ask me? Unbe you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me! You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or you certain breeding tips? Mm. That is just crazy. Are you a pubescent teen boys as nutty as you? Or all, uh, 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 sorry. God, you are so annoying. Fine, I'll tell you, it was a key and... Star, 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 star. That's it! What was the second thing? Mm. It's a blank, stupid. A secret. Fill it in yourself. Making me trudge all the way out here for that, I'd like to see what's going on in that brain of yours. And the next time you summon me for something so stupid, I'll open your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma stormed off. I hope I kept him distracted long enough. Now all I can do is wait and hope Kyoko makes it out okay. No, she'll be fine. It's Kyoko after all. I'm sure she's fine, right? I went back to my room and laid down, doing my best to settle my nerves and get back to sleep. Uh, alright. Okay, I'll see what this Monokuma Theater has to say. <clears throat> Monokuma Theater! Brought to you by Spike Junsoft Company Limited! <laughs> that it? What the hell? Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> this is new, certainly. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Sakura's Revenge, the game the world has been waiting for. Unfortunately, development has been cancelled. Of course, if enough people buy Danganronpa, who knows? You buy your copies. Ah, oh, let me read the entire thing first. Okay. <laughs> A new game in development, or what? Hmm. Hmm. This super stylish, super fashionable game was cancelled during development? But it'll start back up if Danganronpa sells well. Then you guys have to recommend it to your friends, too! Assuming it's a good game. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was, uh, that was certainly interesting. <laughs> okay. Is it free time? Well, I'm pretty sure it's not free time after what happened beforehand, so we'll see. Uh, if it's not free time, alright. My body feels so heavy this morning. It must be because I was so late up last night. I was I need to get to the dining hall. Alright, so it's not free time just yet. So we'll be right back with the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned. God, this fucking itch is irritating me.